You're watching Cougar Tracks Game Day, powered by Bank of American Fork. All right, welcome back. It's another edition of Cougar Tracks Game Day, and I'm Alex Keery. Dave Noriega down at the stadium, and Dave saw the pandemonium that was uh, oh, 108 points, I think, uh, combined, I guess, by the two teams, Dave. And, uh, well, uh, one kajillion yards of offense as BYU gets the W against Toledo. And, uh, boy, no one cares that they gave up 700 yards of offense uh, to Toledo, except for, of course, the defensive coordinators. But a W is a W, right? That's right. I mean, it was an unbelievable game. The atmosphere was incredible, a full house. Uh, it was a great whiteout, so uh, just a great environment. And I'm telling you, if you showed up to this game, despite the fact that it ended at midnight or midnight 15, uh, you were treated to some of the best football that you're going to see all year long. And it was just an entertaining game. Not exactly the defensive struggle that we saw in the first part, uh, those first three games of the season. They go pistol on first and ten. Snap Hill. Hill deep down the near sideline. Trinovan is there. Makes the catch at the 30, 20, 10, and just like that, touchdown Cougars on the first play of the game. Snap Woodside. Give Swanson. Swanson goes off tackle left, dives for the pylon, and touchdown Toledo. What an answer from the Rockets. BYU hurries it up. Taysom Hill and shotgun hands off to Ball. Jamal with a shuffle step in for six. Snap Woodside pulls it away from the back, throws on the seam complete. This could go a long way. Touchdown. Just like that, Toledo answers. Hill's under center. Takes the snap from Karoma. Stretches the hand off to Jamal Williams. And Williams has the first down of Moore. 35-30. He's gone. 20 10. Touchdown. The hat trick for Jamal Williams. Well, let's uh, let's do the thing where we break down our predictions, Dave. Travis Tuiloma, was he going to get a tackle for loss? And he did. Not a solo tackle, but nevertheless, he got a tackle for loss. So, it's boom, a, a for me. It counted on the stat sheet as a .5 TFL. <laughs> so you're half right. <laughs> so if you want to say if you want to say that you're right, that's fine. But 50% technically is still an F. I mean, a tackle's a tackle, baby. It doesn't. <laughs> when you say Butch Pau had 19 tackles, you don't you don't just count his unassisted ones. That's if he true. brought someone down, it counts. That's true. Dave A. So on to your 50-50, it was whether Taysom was going to have a turnover. He had three last game. Yeah. What was his turnover margin? Uh, yeah. So this was a big fat uh, zero for Taysom on the turnovers. That was a huge, huge thing for BYU. I mean, Toledo had the, the two big interceptions, especially the last one that Kainakua had uh, picked, but BYU didn't give a fumble away. They did not give a an interception away, and so Taysom had no turnovers, which ended up being huge for BYU. You said no to him. No, I said he wouldn't have any. I said he wouldn't have a pick. I said he wouldn't have a fumble. I said they were gonna they were gonna guard they were gonna safeguard that ball, and I just so happened to be right. Not even half right. They didn't have a half turnover, Dave, if you didn't if you noticed. <laughs> So Alex, something a little more difficult, not just a 50-50 guess-a-thon uh, like the first few, few mm -hmm. questions we had. Here it is. Passing yardage for Toledo. What did you have and what did Mr. Woodside end up with? So uh, Woodside ended up with a school record breaking for Toledo, 505 yards through the air. I gave him a minuscule 290. Woodside. Receives the shotgun snap again, high. They're getting higher. He brings the ball down, throws it down the near sideline. It is caught by Thompson. Cody Thompson, 40, 35, 30. He is free and a path into the end zone. Toledo back in front. He, I said he was going to have a thin day at 290 yards. He ended up having 505 yards. Not only that, he had five touchdowns through the air. So not a bad day. <laughs> but nobody really cares when it is a loss. When you're flying That's home right. on that airplane, his coach said, oh, yeah, he had a great, he's had four great games to start off the season. Problem is that was a big loss. You score 52 points or 53 points, but you do also uh, throw for 505 yards, and it's all for naught because your team lost. 30, 30 for 38, but those two interceptions were huge, yeah. especially late when Kainakua picked it off. Woodside shotgun, claps, gets the snap, takes a three-step, pocket collapses, being chased to his left, looks downfield, he throws, intercepted. Cougars have it, 35-30 down the sideline. 
Yeah, I thought the Kai interception was so massive. That one, I mean, had BYU on the 12 or 15 yard line and they just punched it in. They give to Jamal, middle, and all the way into the end zone. It's a touchdown run of 14 yards. They scored too fast, Dave. There was, If you scored too fast, I mean, both teams, when BYU scored quickly, uh, I thought, oh, this is too much time, five minutes for Toledo, and certainly it ended up being way too much time. And then uh, a minute and 11 for BYU, or actually a minute and six after the kickoff, ended up being way too much time. 63 seconds to play. Taysom on a three-step, steps up, plenty of time, goes deep. It is Kobe Coley Pearson at the 45-44 yard line of Toledo. Snap, Hill, hand off Jamal. Jamal shoots a gap to the far sideline, trying to turn the corner, kept in bounds or to the sideline. Does the clock stop? That face mask that was a bogus call, fine. BYU will take it. Extra 15 yards, Jamal Williams. We haven't even mentioned the guy's name, 286 yards on the ground to break every single dang record that's, uh, that BYU has had rushing-wise in a single game. Stretch handoff left for Jamal. Jamal shoots the gap, and there he goes again! 50, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, on his feet, into the end zone! He did it again, and the Cougars take the lead. Four touchdowns on the night for the great Jamal Williams. I didn't, I didn't think I'd ever see a performance like Taysom's 259 yards against Texas. That was the greatest single performance that I've ever seen uh, on the football field. And to see Jamal go out there and, and not only break the big runs, to just not only break the, the 50 and 60 yard touchdown runs, but to get those five yard runs, the, yeah. you know, 30 carries, to grind it out and really control the ball was really as, as impressive as the flashy big plays. And, and let's remember, he got another touchdown taken off the board from yeah. a hold call that, 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 that was 30 really yards. didn't affect that, the run at all. That was 30 yards that he could have added to his total. He would have been over yeah. 300 yards. I would be so mad at my offensive line <laughs> for only getting me a 286 yards on the ground. All right, Dave, so your uh, question this week that was on the difficult side was, who's going to be the breakout wide receiver and how yes. many yards are they going to have for BYU? And, uh, well, I went dark horse. I mean, <laughs> I went dark horse. I went with a bold uh, selection of uh, Aleva Hifo. A freshman. Which, which was kind of yes and no. I mean, I kind of did great on it. He was the <laughs> second leading receiver with two catches. Well, uh, <laughs> how many yards did he have? No, nah, he had 19 yards, okay. which isn't great. But, oh, no, sorry, he had 14 yards. He had 14 yards, but here, here it is. This is why I get bonus points. This is why it doesn't matter what the yardage was. Great sell. BYU only had three third-down conversions completed. And guess who two of them went to? Oh, that's great. So was the question how many third-down third conversions uh, that Listen, Aleva Hifo they were had? three of nine on third-down conversions. Right. Hifo had right. two of them, and they were huge. Uh, sustaining drives, and as we saw, if you didn't score, if you punted, you were basically just giving away the lead. Yeah. So, okay. So uh, he footed pretty well. So did, we did went not Hifo, do so well. Hifo returning was going to have the breakout performance for you with 75 yards, and he had a breakout performance. He was second leading receiver. That, more stop, that was not a breakout performance, and it two was third down conversions. 19 this is how yards. You earn a grade, bro. Uh, here's the other thing. If you would have said Jonah Trineman, you would have had it on the first play of the game because he had a 75-yard catch for a touchdown. Oh, I got him mixed up. I you thought got, I, I forgot yeah. which player was which. I'm not buying. I couldn't remember. I'm not buying that Aleva Hifo had a quote-unquote uh, breakout, breakout performance game by converting two, two third, third down conversions. That's garbage. All right, so let's go straight to the uh, points, Dave. Uh, how many points did you guess uh, for and against uh, Toledo and BYU? You, you at least gave BYU the win this week. Yeah, 38-21, I think, uh, was the selection. Yeah. Again, it's it's 145 now. You know, I got the win. Nah, good so, for you. I mean, I, good, good for you. I, I remember that. thinking, I remember you saying, is that crazy, 38 points? Is that crazy? No, and no, I was I, like. And I said, I said, I think, I said, this is where the the offense figures it out. It's where they come together and they finally blow up. For 38 for points. For 38 points, yeah. And you were, like, seriously toiling <laughs> over 38. You're like, should I put 38 down? I don't know. And I was, like, the crazy guy who put down BYU yeah. with the win 41-28. Uh, to 28. Yeah. And uh, 
I remember you're all. Ooh, yeah, I thought your 41 points was insane, but yeah, you know who would have thought you know, that you could have almost added my score and your score <laughs> and come up with it. My favorite too is when you go, oh, so you're going with the shootout, huh? And a shootout is not 41 28, it is 53 <laughs> to 55. 55 so. 53. <laughs> All right, Great. Uh, Dave is in Provo. I'm up here in Salt Lake. Uh, Dave, any parting words before we uh, before we get graded by the professor? It's going to be a much better trip to Michigan State in the RV, in the general RV, because I'm telling you, had they lost that game on that two-point conversion, for sure, where they dropped the snap, where the football the gods made the center mess up again. Snap, what's up? What's X back in? Fumbles it, picks it up, throws desperately. It is caught. It is caught for a two-point conversion by the tight end Michael Roberts. Then, oh my goodness, I. I thought I thought that was going to be the longest 22-hour drive in the history of 22-hour well, drives. It's not like we had we were going to have to bring Kalani Sataki with us in the RV. Come on. Mitch Jurgens will hold. Matt Foley the snap. Snap is back. Placement is good. Kick is on its way, and it is good. good! Rat, you bet. 55, 53. The Cougars win it. They did it. Big plays. Final score, BYU 55, Toledo 53. For Dave Noriega in Provo, I'm Alex Curie up here in Salt Lake City. BYU gets the win 55 to 53 in Provo. Two and three on the season, they head to Michigan State. That's where we're headed to next week in the General RV for Cougar Tracks Game Day. I'm Alex Curie. Cougar Tracks Game Day is powered by Bank of American Fork. Big city banking, small town service.